In today's video, I show you six of the best places to take photos in Berlin. I hope you enjoy it. Berlin is a city packed with beauty, cultural charm, and history. Walking around the German capital is an absolute pleasure and it's quite easy to find beautiful spots wherever you go. If you're one of those travelers who love taking loads of pictures and sharing them on Instagram, this is your video. When exploring Hackescher Markt, you might find yourself stumbling upon a small alleyway filled with vibrant street art and graffiti. The entrance to this alley is right next to the Cafe Cinema. The art is constantly changing and it makes for a great place to explore and take a photo or two. Now, if you watch my previous videos, you know how much I love Alexander Plot. There are a number of great photo spots here, and I'll take you to all of them. First, we're going to go to Nipton Brunnen and Rotus Rat House. The best time to photograph the Rotus Rat House is in the afternoon, but if you can get the sun directly behind it, like it is now, you can have a nice photograph in the morning too. So many things that I, wanna... I know it doesn't seem like it because it still retains that DDR feel, but I love Alexander Plaza. I think it's beautiful in its own way. It's kind of like Berlin. It's not conventionally pretty but it's beautiful in its own way. There are a few places in Alexander Plaza to get some photos. We'll go to the World Clock and I'll show you a great spot where you can get the Fern State Tour with the S-Bahn passing in front of it. It's a really cool picture. And then I'll show you a really cool building with some DDR style mosaic. Make sure you don't miss the World Clock. It's a little piece of the DDR that's left that makes a great photo opportunity. The House des Lehrers was the teachers union during the DDR and the building where it was housed is still here. It has some excellent mosaic work. If you take a right on Karl Marx Alley from here and you walk down Karl Marx Alley, you can see some really excellent examples of Stalinist and brutalist architecture that remains. Karl Marx Alley was the showpiece street for the DDR. It was equivalent to Unter den Linden in West Berlin. Another Instagrammable place you should not miss when visiting Berlin is Charlottenburg Palace. Not only does it feature the largest palace in Berlin, but it also has some of the most beautifully manicured gardens that will excite any photography lover. Thank you. 
Another not to be missed place to visit in Berlin for photography is the Victory Column at Tiergarten. This is also one of the more challenging photo spots in Berlin because it's such a tall structure and the fact that there are always tourists around. But you can overcome anything with a little creativity. The unconventional angle of taking this photograph from the bottom up allows you to perfectly frame and capture the entire length of the column. Plus, it's much easier to avoid capturing other people in your photos from this walkway as it's usually deserted. You cannot visit Berlin without seeing the Berliner Dome or the Berliner Cathedral. You can take a great photo from in front of the cathedral, but if you wander around, you can find some really great photo spots. Don't sleep on the Altus Museum either. You can get a cool selfie with the pillars of the museum. Oberbaumbrücke is the most beautiful and most famous of the bridges in Berlin. Stand back, wait for the yellow train to pass over it and snap that camera. You won't get a better picture than that. From the Oberbaumbrücke, if you walk along the spree on the opposite side of the river from the east side gallery, you will see the Molecule Man. These impressive aluminum sculptured men hugging each other represent a strong symbol of peace for the capital can be surely mentioned as part of the best of Berlin. If you're into edgy street photography, you'll love taking photos at Teufelsberg. Teufelsberg is an old US spy station that has been turned into an art exhibit. It's one of the best spots in Berlin for capturing vibrant and mind-blowing street art. You'll be absolutely spoiled for choice with all the creative ways you can capture photography here. The Brandenburg Gate is another classic Instagram spot in Berlin, and probably one of the most famous monuments in the city. It does get incredibly busy here, so an early morning visit is a must if you want to get that perfect shot. Also, you can get some really nice photos at dusk or even when it's dark. Now these were just six places where you can take some great photos in Berlin. There are a million others, and I'm sure I'll make more videos about this in the future. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button, and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. <laughs>